Hello everybody, it's Robbie here, and I'm coming to you today with a review of Generation Genius. Generation Genius is a science program for grades K through 6. No, K through 8. They've expanded it. I wanted to bring this to you as part of a complete video on digital and online resources, but the video was way too long. So I've had to add an intro and a conclusion <laughs> to this section of the video, and I'm just going to post them separate. So if you look at the playlist, you will see all of the different videos on all the different online and or digital resources that we have used and enjoyed. And so without further ado, I will get into the video. Generation Genius. I don't know if you've seen ads for this, but this is a total blast. They, at the end of this last school year, they were offering a 30 day trial, which is, I've never seen them do that. <laughs> what they do now is they give you five free videos to watch, five free lessons. So you could pick K through two, three through five, now six to eight, they are just working on, like they ha only have three videos. So they're working on the content for grades six to eight. So for now, it's really geared for grade K through five. And we got the trial to this, and my son loves this, loves it. I'm, I know another family, all three of the kids loved it. Um, her then four-year-old was running around <laughs> giving all sorts of science facts and you know, definitions of science vocabulary and all kinds of stuff after watching some of these videos. Um, just really, really cute. And they're very engaging. I'll play a little bit of one of these. I remember him really getting into this one, Properties of mat Matter. Jeffrey, delivery! Dr. Jeff is the scientist. Hey, Mom. Hi, Hi Dr. Dr. Jeff's Jeff. mom. Ooh, did you bring us lunch? I'm not sure what it is. I was cleaning out the garage and I found this box with your name on it. Do you still want it? Wow, this must be 20 years old. If it is lunch, I'm definitely not taking a first bite. <laughs> there could be treasure in there. Or priceless antiques. Or and all the videos clothes. have a similar format. Or a robot They've got this companion. robot. I can't remember what? his name. I get lonely sometimes. But he appears in pretty out. much all of them. So let me get to the experiment part. Awesome. Ooh, chemical this experiment. Is my okay, so science kit. Three experiments. All right. So when they do their experiment, they always say, "Don't do this at home." But this program can also be used as a full science curriculum because all the videos have PDF downloads for quizzes and additional text and experiments that you can do at home and all kinds of stuff. So if you wanted a full science curriculum and wanted it to be video based, this, w this could do it for you. So yeah, here's where they do the experiment. All right, Bert, I'm gonna need your help. You bet, anything in the name of science. Take this piece of sodium metal and on the count of three, drop it into the dish of water over there behind the safety shield. All righty. You'll be next to the dish while the rest of us stand over here. Sounds good. On three, Bert. I just love helping people. One, two, three. Fire in the wall! What? 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 <laughs> There you go. So yeah, they're very fun to watch. Okay, so I showed you an excerpt of this particular video and if you scroll down, it will give the teacher resources down at the bottom. So these are questions, discussion questions that you can ask before the video. This sort of tests what their current knowledge is after the video, 
Then there's a little quiz here, very informal. You have a vocabulary list. You have reading material, which you can download as a PDF or give the student some reading material. If they're too young to read it, you can click here and it'll read to them. Or if they're an auditory learner, there's that option there too. So it gives all of the different text portions with the read out loud option, <clears throat> vocabulary, So see how robust this is? This is pretty wild. <clears throat> There's a DIY activity guide so that they can do a, an experiment on their own. There's a video to go with it. Materials list, instructions, okay. Then there's a teacher lesson plan that you can download or open as a PDF. And there's an assessment. So there's an online quiz game and there's a paper quiz. This is the information that they need to know before they can exit <laughs> this lesson, I guess. I don't know. It's not a term I'm familiar with, but um, there's also a paper quiz that can be downloaded and printed. So there you go. That's each one of these videos has all of this material to go with it. So you can coordinate this with a lesson that you're currently doing in another curriculum and use this as a supplemental, or you can choose to use this as a full curriculum if you want to. When you click on the lessons, they're not organized by topic in the sense that you don't have like life science organized in all the life science videos in one, section with physical science organized in another. So that's something that you would have to do on your own if you chose to do that. And it looks like they have now, since I'm recording this last portion of the video on a later date, um, I showed you earlier that they had only like three lessons here for the grade six through eight. It looks like now they have added um, some are getting ready to, premiering August 3rd. So if you have students from 6th through 8th grade, there is a lot more content here than there was just a couple of weeks ago. Um, initially, I wanted this video to be all the digital resources in one video, and it was over an hour long, so I'm decided that no, we, we will not be doing that. And I'm breaking it up now. And so this portion I'm added later. So, all right, hopefully that answers all your questions about the course itself. I had it up on the pricing screen at first, you might've seen it. So it's $95 a year, $120 for a classroom, $795 school district quote. Okay. So we thought <laughs> at one point we might try the classroom edition. Um, if you have a co-op, it would work okay, but you have to assign the videos. They can't just freely go in and view whatever videos they want. So if you do have a co-op setting, this would work nicely if you want to assign videos um, or if you're a teacher um, or you just have a lot of kids and you don't want them to just freely watch whatever videos they want to watch. You want to assign them and correlate them to either something you're currently using or, you know, you just want to control the content that they see and use it as an, you know, where you're assigning videos to your student, then the classroom feature, the classroom subscription, I should say, might be a good option for you. But just know that Kids can't just log in and watch whatever videos they want to watch. And this can be shared with up to 35 students, but again, you have to share the links directly with them. They can't just go in and watch. All right, so that's it for Generation Genius. 
if you go to their website, they'll give you five videos that you can watch if you want to get a feel for this program and whether or not you're going to like it. Um, they don't have a trial going on anymore. That was something they did, you know, back in March or April. I think they, anyway, it was during the COVID shutdown of the schools and everything. So they're not doing that anymore, but you can watch five videos for free. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer best I can. I don't have an account with them anymore. I haven't decided if I wanted to, um, pay for this as a supplement. We have so many science resources. It's just my son's favorite subject and we have a ton. He loved this so much, but he misses it. So we may just have to, you know, dole out the dough to do it. So this is not a sponsored video. They did not give me this program in exchange for my review. We just really liked it and I wanted to share it with you. So Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And again, hit the thumbs up and the like, and that's the same thing. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. There, that's what I wanted to say. Um, if you like this kind of content, because I will bring you more. All right, have a great one. Thanks, bye.